it's Siobhan here. So today I am doing another um, hairstyle based on a photograph I saw on Tumblr and I will link it in the information box that way you guys can see it if you're interested. It's basically just perimeter braids which in theory are really easy to do but um, when you actually try they can be kind of, um, I don't know, tricky. And uh, perimeter braids look really great, I think, in my opinion, on anybody who has a lot of length. And I do have length, but um, I also have layers. And um, my layers kind of stick out, so I'm not really sure how this is going to turn out. But um, I'm going to give it a go and see what happens. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. So technically you can probably keep your part wherever it is. Um, to make this a little easier on myself and just have like an even amount of hair on both sides, I'm going to part it down the middle and, uh, oops, it's not even. I'm also going to um, part it down the back of my head because you need to divide your hair in two. If you're going to do a perimeter braid, you obviously need to know how to kind of Dutch braid or French braid, any sort of kind of braid like that. And because um, you're going to be adding hair in. And you also have to kind of have strong arms because <laughs> you're going to be holding your arms out like this. Um, so just start by taking a section here. I am going to braid under, like a Dutch braid sort of deal. Um, braiding under just feels more natural to me than braiding over, but you can do it either way, I think. Okay, so I've done like, I don't know, two passes or something, right? Now, you're going to add hair into only one side, so I guess in a sense a perimeter braid is sort of like, I guess it's kind of like a lace braid in that sense because you're only adding into one side, and you're going to add into the top strand, which is going to be the strand that's closest to the rest of your hair. So you're going to grab, I hope you can see what I'm doing, a bit of hair here like that, and you're going to pull it out, okay? Braid it in. So I did my one pass. Now I'm going to add more hair into my top strand. It's hard to see when I'm not looking in the mirror. And braid it in. So you know when you're doing like a regular, I guess, pigtail, French braid, you kind of hold it closer to your head. With the perimeter braid, you're going to like just kind of pull it away from your head because you want this sort of um, draping effect and that's kind of how you're going to achieve it by adding in the hair, but you're going to hold it away like this. Remember, it's the top, the, the strand at the top that's kind of closest to the rest of your hair. So at this point, you should have something that looks kind of like this. <laughs> kind of like wings, almost. Um, you're going to need a mirror so that you can like see what you're doing in the back and you're also going to need some bobby pins. So it really doesn't matter which braid you start with. I think I'm going to start with this one. And you're going to take it and kind of flip it, like flip it like that. are going to use your pins to hold it in place. With this side you're going to do the same. It's kind of up to you how you place the braids, whether you crisscross them or, um, or what. The ends, they're kind of sticking out. Um, I guess what you can do is you can tuck them into the other braid or into the braid. So this is kind of what it ends up ends up looking like, like this. 
Um, unfortunately, this piece here seems to be really loose and hanging down in a way that I don't like. So, I'm going to tuck it up with an open pin. I'm going to use my pink flower girly clips to sort of cover that little mistake. Hopefully that'll work. Um, this is kind of how it turned out. Um, put the little flower clips to hide my little error. And um, I think it turned out okay. Um, my layers were kind of sticking out as I said that they might. But um, yeah, I hope you guys uh, <laughs> liked this. And um, I'll see you all in my next video. Bye. So before I leave the video, I wanted to show you guys the cover of the Daily News. Um, and the reason for it is because I know that my channel is watched pretty much by other women and other moms. And um, this is the cover. Um, in New York at Christmas, there was a fire and um, it was a fire in a home out, I want to say, I always get it confused, either it's Connecticut or Long Island, um, but uh, this mom lost all three of her little girls at Christmas time, and um, the story's been really big here, it's been in all the papers, and uh, she had a funeral for them, and so of course this is somewhat of a sad newspaper article. Anyway, the reason I wanted to show it to you guys, or show it to you ladies, is because I know that you will keep this woman in your prayers, um, and I don't know, just give your own babies a kiss and a hug today, and uh, just remember to be thankful for all the things that you do have in your life. This really touched me when I looked at it today, it really upset me. and. Um, I just hope her little ones are in a better place. Right, guys, I'm done. <laughs> okay, bye.